Y'all are gonna get to know this face. This is my, I'm just disappointed in people face. And you know, I didn't think this truck had just any more surprises to offer that I could probably catch on video from a new YouTube channel, which if uh, you haven't subscribed, you should, just to support my ego just a little bit. And we're in, inside this uh, truck and um, finishing some stuff up. And so I decided to make a little tutorial because you know what, I stumbled on some more just stuff and uh, you know, it just amazes me that the truck has not burned to the fucking ground. All right, so we've got some more wiring to look over. And what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys uh, the knot way. And then, um, you know, the thing is there's a hundred ways to wire. You can solder, you can do connections. Um, and you know, there's, there's a lot of different ways to skin this cat. I mean, dude, you could even electrical tape it if you had a half a fucking clue on how to wrap electrical tape. But what we're going to do is we're going to fast forward to show you what the boop no is. Here we go. So, as you see, this is all the Toyota. This might look a little bit more dainty than it is, but the truth is a lot of this has been gone through. Pretty much everything in this quadrant is legit. Pretty much everything in that law quadrant is uh, legit. Now, here we go. Today, after I have plumbed all my airlines and I'm ready to hook up my manual valves and my little gauges on this thing. Manual because that's uh, that's the kind of, we like running manual around here. We're not even gonna get into some of the aftermarket companies running these, uh, these air systems, but manual is a legit way to go. And uh, you know, that's what we like to rock. It's the cheaper way too. That is uh, strictly coincidence. Either way, here we go. But look, if you notice right here, we have got some very tastefully wrapped um, wires. And the, the thing that really gets me is, check this one out right here. Look at this. Look at this wire right here. Let's zoom in. You see it? That's right. That wire was, it was bound up. And then he wrapped it. Who wrapped it? She wrapped it. Uh, it wrapped it what looks like an eighth or half inch, you know, away from where they fucking tried to twist this motherfucker together, you know? And I don't know if y'all know this speaker wire, that'll probably, that ain't gonna do nothing, you know? If, what that'll do is that'll fucking, that might blow a channel on your radio, it'll be a pop, it might fuck something else up, but you know what, most time speakers... Speakers aren't going to burn nothing to the ground. It's these wires you have to look for. It's the reds and the yellows. Yellows generally is an ignition hot. That's your key hot that tells the radio to come on when the key is. Most of the red ones, or maybe I'm wrong. Maybe the yellow one's the battery one. This is exactly how you fucking burn trucks to the ground, is you don't know what the fuck you're doing. Okay, we've established that. So what I'm fixing to do is I'm going to go ahead and go through the bouffant because the thing is, like, you could just pull most of these wires apart. And I'm going to make cuts and get clean connections on them. And I'm going to set up a couple and show you how I put together wires so that this thing will bang to the fucking ground. And we're going to try to get through this together. So I'm just going to lay it down for a second. And you're going to have to rely on my video editing to hopefully piece this motherfucker back in. Here we go. Okay, we just come, we're just coming back for just a second. I have been like doing this maybe like 20 seconds and I set the camera down. But look, I've stumbled on another not the way to fucking do it. So if you notice this right here, woo, look at this. This is a ground, okay? And that's in a butt connector, all right? Now, I don't, I'm not trying to tell people how to do stuff. But you know, if you've got wire hanging out the back of the butt connector, You've done something wrong because you shouldn't have that much wire. You shouldn't have to stuff it fucking in there like you're some fat girl trying to get her foot in the fucking shoe and you're dying to go to the big dance. This is just hurried bullshit is all this is. Boo fuck, not good. This is not Christian bullshit. Now, this is just ground, so there's like a million things that probably happen. You'll pop a fuse, pop something else. Not really sure if we're in fire territory yet, but you know what? With the kind of shit that happens in the mini truck community... This motherfucker's liable to be just one little itty bitty shitty fucking wire connector away from being a big ball of flame. All right, setting it back down. I'm gonna keep going. All right. 
we're back. All right, now check this out, guys. Now listen, I have been doing a lot of thinking while I've been cleaning this wire up, okay? And I have decided that there's really only one, two, three, maybe four ways of legitimate connecting wires that should be connected. They're butt connectors, they're solders, there's heat shrink. And you know, there's a good quality of parts you can use, dude. There's like everything from these high-end connectors that have this little, you see a little light blue thing right there? That little, right there, that little light blue thing. At the end, that's actually heat shrink. And see, the most important thing about these wire connectors that nobody talks about is controlling the wire coming out of it. Because if that wire wiggles, then you're relying on the copper inside that might get a little warm with some current to hold the wire together. And really, the strength of a wire is the coating. It's the, it's the outside of it. So you know what? Like, you, I didn't spurge for these. This is I got cheap little AutoZone ones. You see these? You get them about the right size diameter. What you do is you get enough copper to go in there, but not sticking out of the connector. You get a good mash on it. And then what I like to do is go back over that entire connection with some heat shrink. See, what I've done here is I've got a whole box of assorted heat shrink and AutoZone connectors. And this is what we get right here. All right, now look, this might not look really really fancy but what i've done is is i've updated what we got going here with some heat shrink controlled how those wires flex i've actually done quite a bit of deleting the thing is this fucking truck is set up they got a factory harness for like a forerunner dude and then like some rear speakers for a forerunner slash tacoma slash t100 and this truck don't have rear speakers and it's got preamp front speakers, and they've only used two channels from the back of the Pioneer the whole time to do it. So I'm trying not to fuck with that at all. So what I've done here is where this rear harness is, where those would normally be rear speakers. Boom, a little bit of heat shrink. That way it's not a motherfucking mystery plug floating around in the dash waiting to cause some sort of fucking problem. We've kind of cleaned it up. And if you notice, I've gotten rid of other wires on the back side of this. I've heat shrunk them in there after dipping them and getting them all nice and secure. So again, we don't have little floating live wires touching little parts of the inside of the dash. Uh, this is not taking long, okay? And this is really an effective way to do it. This is kind of the easiest way to do it. Most of this shit right here is AutoZone, wire connectors, heat shrink. And guess what? That's a good, that's a good deal. That's going to last a good long time. No, I'm not running fucking sound competition. So no, I did not solder it. However, that's probably the best way to do it but also kind of takes the most learning to do. So like your real middle ground, if you're doing cool shit is wire connectors and slowing the fuck down and taking the time to do decent work. That is literally the first step of doing good work is wanting to fucking do good work. It's making the sacrifice that you have the time to do good work. You have the time to stop what you're doing and go get the right parts to do shit. You're not in a rush. You've got nowhere to be. That's a good way to look at this shit. Most of this wire and I'm running this truck is shit people were trying to do to get out the door and it's dangerous and you're gonna fucking be on your own movie remake of fucking Backdraft starring whoever the fuck wired it up and guess what? That movie barely works with Kurt Russell. Okay, Kurt Dog did a great job. The stash was killer. It's not going to work with you or whoever the fuck you're going to put in it. Okay? So if you don't want to be making your own uh, cutaways like this, fuck, fuck, fire, fire, I'm going to tell you to slow down. And you know what? You're highly capable of slowing down. We all are. I've done a little basic weed eating here. I've cleaned up good wire connections. And you know what? Just a little bit more work. This is going to last a long time. And it's not going to embarrass me at a fucking car show. Okay? And that's kind of how this whole truck has been for us. This whole truck has been... I mean, while we're here, let's fix it, I guess. And it's just down to everything. I've We've redone a lot. Um, we're getting anxious to finish it up. And you know that's uh that that's a decent video for some uh, electrical work right there on the Tacoma. If you've got any questions, if you want me to cover how to fucking do electrical work, anything fucking stupid. If you're working on something, can't figure it out, something like that, get at me in the comments. You can uh, you can hear me bitch about it or hear me try to help you. You can listen to my motherfucking dogs go absolutely batshit crazy outside whenever I try to make a video, and um. You know, holler back at me, guys, because uh, this is a pretty decent night. We're almost done with this. I'm just put the console together, and then we're going to test the air ride in Toyota tonight. So, what the fuck is it, Thursday? Happy Thursday? And then, um, you know, 
get back at me.